At the beginning of the film, a family consists of four people living on the outskirts of Tokyo. This family is the Suzuki family, living in a small apartment. The father, Yoshiyuki, likes to watch television, while his son, Kenji, and his daughter, Yui, are addicted to playing on their phones. They comfort themselves with cell phones and barely spend time with each other. We can see that most families rely on technology nowadays. The next day, for some reason, the alarm in their home doesn't work, causing Yoshiyuki wakes up late. The wife, Mitsui, also wonders why all electronics in their home don't work as usual. They assume that this is a normal blackout. Yoshiyuki tries to call the electricity company, but the phone also doesn't work. Kenji then tries to fix the electricity in their apartment, but all the efforts just go in vain. They decide to go to work and school as usual. Outside the apartment, they see a crowd waiting in front of the elevator. It turns out that the elevator also doesn't work due to power outages. Therefore, everyone must go down the stairs. Yoshiyuki rushes to the train station and finds a huge crowd gathering. It turns out that the entire train doesn't operate and has to wait until further notification. At the same time, Kenji cycles to school as usual. The city is usually filled with vehicles, but this time is filled with only walking people and bicycles. Adults are even jealous of Kenji, who can ride a bike. A taxi driver even tries to fill gasoline with water. However, it's useless. When Yoshiyuki arrives at the office, the automatic door in his office also won't open. To make it worse, they don't know what time it is because all watches stop working. After the long debate, two of his colleagues break the glass door and go inside to work. But they find out that all the computers there also don't work. Meanwhile, Mitsui meets with neighbors outside the apartment and discusses the power outages. Her neighbors rush to buy candles for the night. On the other hand, Mitsui believes that electricity will go back on. However, she finally follows her neighbors to grocery stores. There, people buy a lot of food, water, and supplies needed. Mitsui does the same thing and waits for a long queue. Because the machine doesn't work, shop officers announce that they only receive cash. Hence, some people must take their money at the ATM, but the machine also doesn't work. In Yoshiyuki's office, people realize this is not a regular power outage. Still, they also don't know exactly what happened. They can't do anything there. Thus their boss tells them to go home. On the way home, Yoshiyuki goes to a bicycle shop. To his surprise, the price of bicycles increases dramatically, but Yoshiyuki still buys one. At night, the Suzuki family lights a candle around the house and eats silently. Yoshiyuki looks still busy completing his office work. At the same time, water taps begin to stop working too. After dinner, the children return to their room but are bored because they cannot do anything. Therefore, all family members gather on the balcony and stare at the night sky. The blackout causes light from the stars to appear brighter than usual. The Suzuki family also enjoys quality time together after such a long time. On the third day of power outages, the apartment's condition worsens. Dirty clothes and plates are piled up. Without electricity, people's lifestyle has changed drastically in just three days. At Yoshiyuki's office, his boss instructs all employees to stop working temporarily until electricity has been restored. Yoshiyuki's fright is his family will not get any income if he stops working. In addition, the boss also says that living in Tokyo without electricity and water would be very difficult. Outside the office, Yoshiyuki sees his boss planning to go to the village with his family. Seeing this, Yoshiyuki considers doing the same thing. On the other hand, Mitsui tries to find water by going to the nearest water tank, However, many people queue there. After a while, the water officers inform them that the water cannot be pumped out, so their efforts are futile. Meanwhile, Yoshiyuki goes to the bank to withdraw some money, but he is pushed by many people. On day 7 of the power outages, all shopping shops have run out of food and supplies. Many people begin to move to the village, and Suzuki's family decides to do the same. The next day, the Suzuki family packs and goes to the Kagoshima village by bicycle, where Mitsui's father lives. They cycle to the nearest airport. Children ride their bicycles, while Mitsui and Yoshiyuki only use one bike. They have to buy water in the middle of the road, but all shops sell pricey water. With Mitsui's skill in bargaining, she manages to get water at an affordable price. They then stop for a while to rest and continue their journey a moment later. They receive the information that the flight is still working. Thus, the family goes to the airport, where they plan to take a flight to Kagoshima. However, they feel disappointed once again when seeing the crowd waiting outside the airport. The officers also come and inform the flight is also not operating. It turns out that the recent flight is cancelled until the electricity is back on. As a result, the Suzuki family decide to stay at the nearest hotel. The owner takes advantage of their situation by giving an unreasonable price. No option left, so they finally stay at the hotel. 
While having dinner, Yui suggests they return to Tokyo. According to Yoshiyuki, it is impossible to return to Tokyo because no food and water are provided there. The next day, Kenji and Yui visit a bookstore and get a map to guide their journey. Meanwhile, their father and mother exchange two bottles of alcohol to get a bicycle and a sack of rice. They then continue their journey. After a few hours, they finally reach the highway, where many travelers like them want to go to the village. After a while, they stop at a camp and decide to stay with other travelers. A husband and wife see them drinking. Suddenly the couple asks for their drinks, but they lie and say it is the last bottle. In the evening, they get karma for what they did. A thief comes and takes their drinking supply. Kenji is about to pursue the thief, but stopped when the thief needs water to give milk to the baby. The next day, they continue their journey and end up in a dark tunnel filled with cars and corpses. In the end, they are guided by blind women to pass the tunnel. It's been 16 days since the power outage. Now, the family is on the riverbank when their water supply has run out. Because there is no choice, Yoshiyuki finally drinks dirty river water. After leaving the river's bank, a large storm hit. As a result, the family must take shelter and leave their bicycles and belongings. The storm ended, and they checked their bikes and belongings. Unfortunately, Kenji's bicycle tires are damaged, and all their clothes and food supplies are can't be used anymore. Then, they arrive in the nearest city, and the children start looking for food and drinks, leaving Mitsui and Yoshiyuki to rest. Children are very excited when they find a shop. After seeing everything on the food rack run out, they again lose enthusiasm. Kenji is looking for a bicycle tire, but there is nothing left. He then finds Aku water that could be used for drinking. On the other hand, Yui finds cat food and brings it to her parents. She tries cat food for the first time in her life, and the taste is disgusting. However, they must force themselves in order to survive. At the same time, Kenji fixes his tires using his cell phone casing, and they continue their journey again. They survive with Aku water and cat food for a week before finally meeting a family who is camping on the 22nd day. The family teaches them how to process plants on the roadside to be used as food. One of them takes photos with non-digital cameras and promises to send the pictures to them when the situation has returned to normal. They continue their journey together for several hours and then separate. On the 43rd day, they arrive at an aquarium where people catch fish and eat it. The family happily joins in line to get food. But unfortunately, the food supply is run out in their turn. Yoshiyuki begs the man to give food to his children, but is ignored. The family can't do anything and continue their journey, but are soon exhausted due to a lack of food and water. They end up in a field where Yoshiyuki eats an insect. At that moment, they see a pig in the field. They manage to catch the pig, but are reluctant to cut it. Not long after, an old man comes and immediately slices the pig. He introduces himself as Tanaka and asks them to help him bring the pig to his farm. Arriving at Tanaka's house, he gives this family food and drink, but with the condition that they have to help Tanaka catch all his pigs. They live with Tanaka for one week and decide to continue their journey to Kagoshima. Three days later, they end up on the riverbank without a bridge. Their map is too old, so the situation is no longer the same. Yoshiyuki has the idea of making a raft to cross the river. They manage to escort Mitsui and Yui to the other side of the river. Still, Yoshiyuki and Kenji have to return to grab their bicycles. But heavy rain comes all of a sudden, and the river currents become uncontrollable, making Yoshiyuki drift away. Kenji tries his best to save himself and survives. When the rain stops, Kenji tries to find his father's whereabouts, but only finds his wig in the water. The family sits on the river's edge while crying, grieving over Yoshiyuki's death. A few moments later, they continue their journey on foot. Three of them manage to reach the 94th day with food reserves from Tanaka. While walking on the railroad track, a group of dogs suddenly attack Mitsui, rolling her down. The children run to save their mother. Unfortunately, their mother's feet are broken. They carry Mitsui, but the dogs attack them again. At that moment, the sound of a steam-powered train approaches them. Because steam-powered trains use coal as fuel, this train can still operate. People on the train treat Mitsui's wounds and help them. At the same time, we see Yoshiyuki's body stranded on the riverbank. Fortunately, he can still walk to the nearest truck and catch a train. At that time, Yoshiyuki uses smoke firecrackers to attract the attention of people on the train. Finally, Mitsui sees the smoke, and the train stopped to pick up Yoshiyuki, making the family able to reunite happily. The train manages to bring them to Kagoshima, their destination. After a long time, they finally meet Mitsui's father and start living together. It's been 2 years and 126 days since the power outage and Suzuki's family finally lives in Kagoshima. They live a happy life like local people, such as fishing and knitting their own clothes. 
They live peacefully for about two years in Kagoshima. One morning, Yoshiyuki wakes up because of the alarm ringing. Then the entire villagers wake up, and electricity returns. Everyone is shocked, but no one knows precisely what brings electricity back. A few weeks later, Suzuki's family returns to their previous life in Tokyo. The news says the power outage occurred for 2.5 years because of a comet approaching the Earth. Some people also believe this is a terrorist attack, but no one knows the real reason behind the incident. The film ends when the Suzuki family receives a photo taken by a foreign family they found while traveling. From this film, we can learn that power outages teach us to appreciate the little things in our life. For example, the Suzuki family, who doesn't care about each other, become closer because they are going through difficulties together. How about you? Do you want to feel a power outage for two years? Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.